Yankee and also 060, and now we're going to switch back to English again because uh, we are going to talk to Ron Cogan, editor and publisher of GreenGroup.com, uh, uh, who presented the Ca Green Car of the Year Award at the LA Auto Show. How are you, Ron? I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, for taking the time. Um, so the LA Auto Show, we saw the award for the Honda Accord. Uh, I don't think uh, many people were surprised. That's a fabulous car that has many, many attributes for your award, right? Oh yeah, it really speaks to a lot of people. The fact that they uh, that it's been a very popular car does a lot of things right. Is packed with electronics uh, options uh, and is now available as a hybrid and a plug-in hybrid. I mean, that's that's pretty significant. Yeah, and uh, it was very interesting to see that uh, in the list, uh, besides the Honda Accord that has a hybrid option, there were any other hybrids or electric cars in the, uh, in the final list? Yeah, that's correct. Well, I mean, every year is different. Uh, uh, different types of finalists rise to the top. We go through a pretty extensive vetting process considering every potential uh, vehicle. But, but I have to say, some people were surprised that electrics were not on there, but... Uh, We focus on cars that are either all new or in the uh, uh, very early stages of their model life cycle. So vehicles uh, that have been considered before and finalists like the, the Leaf weren't weren't uh, uh, part of it because they uh, there was nothing really new about the Leaf. And other ones that are sold only in California or a few states and very small uh, volume that aren't available to people to buy were also not considered. Yeah, but there were uh, some uh, uh, at least one diesel, right? The uh, the Audi, I believe. Actually, two diesels. Two diesels. Uh, Audi A6 TDI uh, clean diesel, which gets up to 38 miles per gallon on the highway, and the BMW 328D, which gets up to 45 miles per gallon on the highway. Both significant cars. Yeah, and uh, speaking again about the uh, the other option of cars like electric and hybrids, uh, they showed some of the cars. We were actually just talking the last segment to. Uh, Somebody from, uh, to Derek Joyce from Hyundai, uh, talking about the Tucson fuel cell car. And we also had the opportunity to drive the uh, Mercedes Benz B class electric. So I guess those cars might be in your list for next year. Well, I mean, when you talk about hydrogen, and, and we're going to look at hydrogen vehicles also being very low volume, and I would assume that they're going to be, uh, restricted to where they're sold because you have to have hydrogen stations available to be able to, uh, to use them. So it may be that volume keeps them from being a finalist. I mean, we won't know until next year. But, but again, we, we focus on vehicles that are, are, are approachable to most people and ones that can be purchased in your area. So th those facets are, are important. Yeah, but it was kind of interesting to see that tendency because, for example, also BMW showed the i3, and I guess we're moving up into that, uh, that uh, kind of cars uh, more in the market, right? Um, we are, yeah, very advanced vehicles. I mean, there, there's going to continue to be uh, improvements in the kind of vehicles that we've had forever that get much higher fuel efficiency and are environmentally positive. But all, we're also going to see all new, um, all new approaches like the BMW i3 and i8 and hydrogen vehicles. Clearly, we're on a we're on a path that's taking us. Uh, to different types of options at the showroom in the future. Excellent. Ron Cogan, editor and publisher from greencardgroup.com. Uh, and Ron, uh, that's uh, the website, greencard.group.com, that where people can find more information about this and uh, this award and some other information? Yes, greencardgroup.com and also carsofchange.com. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time, Ron, and uh, see you again uh, hopefully before next year's LA Auto Show. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Thank you. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.